in 38 professional bouts. His record stands at 32 victories with six defeats, 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the challenger from Islington, London, UK, the two-time interim super middleweight world And across the ring stands his opponent fighting in the red corner. Wearing tonight silver trunks trimmed in red, green, and gold. K2 weighed in 167 and three quarter pounds. And in 42 professional bouts, he is perfect. 42 victories, no defeats. 33 wins coming by way of knockout. Presenting the former WBO Junior Middleweight World Champion, the current reigning. WBC Silver Super Middleweight Champion presentando el hijo invito desde Tijuana Baja, California, México, Jaime Borgia. Okay, fellas, this is the WBC Super Middleweight Silver Belt. Went over the rolls in the dressing room. Both these trunks are good. I'm going to let you work right in here. Have a clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Touch them up. Bomb at the belt. John Ryder told us, I only want to be in the biggest fights in the world. And if I can't do that, I don't want to fight anymore. If I lose tonight, I'm done. Will this be his swan song or his greatest victory ever? As for Jaime Munguia, he knows what could be next. But you can't get to next until you deal with now. Canelo may be next. John Ryder right here tonight in our main event on the zone. 12 rounds, super middleweight division. Todd Grisham, Sergio Mora, Chris Mannix, and Barry Jones ringside. Barry, what does John Ryder have to do in the early rounds? Go ahead, Barry. For me, he has to try and take that center of the ring. Mungia likes to do that, likes to come forward. But if you can just steal the center of the ring, just maybe try and make you think about the defense for a little bit longer than usual. That'll give you some forward momentum, do some good work. The, uh, the blueprint is already there. Start fast on Mugia. Back him up. Get him on his back foot. He's not the fastest foot fighter, so if you can get him on his heels, just like Derek Vincenco did from the first, in the first round, that's how you start getting Mugia uncomfortable early. The rider can do that. Look at the size of Ryder's legs. He's a, he is a gorilla. Yes, he is. Strong, compact fighter. I mean, I sized him up, and yeah, he's definitely a super middleweight. And I was saying earlier, he's a more intelligent fighter than people give him credit for as well. So he will be thinking about his work. I think it's important that every time when he throws a single shot, Ryder has to have to off. Nice right hand and a left from Mungia. Ryder, as you mentioned, Gary, trying to throw between the punches. You can see that Ryder's already having Mungia on the on the back foot. You know, Mungia's backing up himself looking for the right shot, but this is something that we're not accustomed to seeing. Normally, how many Mugia is the one on the front foot getting really aggressive, looking for openings and body shots. Ryder's looking to time Mungia with a big left hand, 
I mean, he is punching really fast. He's not concentrating on power right now. He's doubling, tripling him up the jabs, coming up with a straight right hand. Really smart by him in this first round. Hey, Mugia's already complaining about Ryder. That's a good thing, though, Barry, right? You want to get under his skin? Yeah, but I think that's important. You've got to try and stunt that, stunt that, that work that he does. You want to just stop it early. Shot by Mungia. Nice opening round where both men got their shots. Straight back into the action. For the record, John Ryder has only been stopped once. That was back in 2015 by Nick Blackwell for the vacant British middleweight title. And it was a premature stoppage. It was a fight that he was winning. So technically, Ryder's really never been convincingly knocked out by anyone in 38 fights. Mungia told us this week is that looking back and reflecting on the Derevchenko fight, he felt like he was a little bit too overeager, and that resulted in him just letting his hands go for 12 rounds, which made for a fun fight, but he's not the strategy he's trying to employ in this fight. That front foot position of, of, of Mungia, he's got it on. In a situation like this, one of my concerns was that after a fight against someone like Canelo, do you still have that same hunger? You can bet Ryder's gonna punch in between the shots. He's sure, he's shook up right now. But he's gonna keep punching. Go ahead. Trying to hold on desperately is Ryder. Now you see Ryder coming with the right hook. Two right hooks right there. Got him again with the right hand in Mungia. There's three right hooks by Ryder. That's the thing about Mungia. When he has opponents hurt, he throws caution to the wind and doesn't move his head. He's just as vulnerable as his opponent. We talk about Mungia's, you know, oh, he, oh, he can recover really quick. But Ryder also has, has can recover quite quick, as we saw it against Canelo. And the pressure, he will fire back. Ryder has the experience that when, he, when he's hurt, he's going to take advantage of his over, the overaggression of his opponents. Whoa, a swing and a miss. Mungia putting everything behind these shots. And there's Ryder, that right hand scores. I think there's more thoughts on McGee's work as well. He's, he's still being busy, but he's thinking about where the target is and he's aiming for it rather than just letting his punches go unabandoned. I think Mungia is loading up a little bit too much, and that's what happens when you drop your opponent. He should be going back to what dropped him, and that was a clean setting up the jabs with a clean right hand. Whoa, stop! Whoa! This crowd still on their feet. Handled the pressure pretty well. But Mugia wants another knockdown here in the second. Great start for Mugia. Yeah, did he catch a flush though? Is it just a flush one? It's a flush one, yeah. Yeah, you didn't look good, man. Listen, you're catching him with that right hook when he comes in now. Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do when he comes in, hit him with a right hook. Left off, right hook, yeah. Mungia, beautiful right there, setting him up with that right hand. Not smothering his attack, keeping the range right on the money, and he caught him on the right side of the chin. Southpaws aren't accustomed to getting hit on that right side. 
Fights a clean right hand. And here's the onslaught against the ropes. Just beautiful shot, but you know what? Credit to Ryder for smothering that attack, turning his opponent, Second putting down. him in gear. The ropes. Second down. That shows the strength of John Ryder right there, but he can't keep getting the punched by those shots so clean this early. Right hook. That's what John Ryder Porter kept saying. We're going to get him with the right hook. That I said We're that going. was going to be his money punch. The left uppercut and right hook. Don't stand in front of Mungia too long. That punch will be there. But the way Mungia is sliding into the target and taking that foot on the outside, if Ryder wants to throw the left hand, he has to square his shoulders up there, and that just gives him a, 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 a real clean target to hit. And that's when that right hand did so much damage. I like that right hand that Mungia's been throwing to the body. That's, that's actually setting up the headshot. But he's doing it in a responsible manner, bending his knees. There it is again. That's right on the belt line. That's something Freddie Roach has drilled into Jaime Munguia. Don't be afraid to go a little bit low, whether it's on the hip or on the belt line, to use the entire body. I love hearing that. Even if they warn you, don't stop going to the body. Shot there from right there, nice little left hand. way back into this after going down in round two. Nice little bounce on the on the toes of Mungia, which we're not accustomed to seeing. Oh, nice uppercut there by Ryder. He's on his toes, bouncing, looking for a nice right counter shot. I know Mungia is. Look at that. Feeling it. Skip it to the left there, Ryder. Ryder coming back. Is that if he can just stick to the right and try to slide oh, forward, there's a gap there if that left hand goes through the middle. I love the read generalship by John Ryder. He's never against the ropes. He's always turning into the middle. Anytime he gets near the rope, goes out, he pivots out, and then goes right back to the middle of the ring. Here he goes. See that? They're going to call it. No, wait. They're going to. No, boy, well, he thought about it, didn't he? <laughs> he thought about it, but that would be ruled. Not a knockdown. Well, there was a shot from Jaime Mugia that landed right on the right hip of John Ryder. Good body shot there by Ryder. Touch on both sides. He's just getting a little bit too close there, Mugia. He can throw from longer out. He just needs to get that close. The straight right hand has been the best punch for Mugia. The right hook, the best punch for Ryder. And then you see Ryder again. Once he got near the ropes, Pivoted away, went right back to the center of the ring. Oh, good shot from Ryder. Let me right hook. That's the one he wants, isn't it? That's that's going to be the main punch. It's the right hook. And the more aggressive that Mugia is looking for the knockout, looking for the big punches, the more vulnerable he's going to be for that right hook. But every time he throws a single shot, he's got to make the most of it, Ryder. Cut, but it was the foot position that got him in there. Good body shots, and that's what I want to see more from Mugia, of course, because that's how he breaks down opponents. Heavy Take body jump. shots. Take, Take advantage of that. Keep digging away. Look. One, two to start the round for Jaime Mugia, and another right on the chin. It's been an action pass. So far as we're in the fourth. And he is getting what's really there? aggressive right here. Came out with a hard go. one, too. Then came go. around the guard with a right hook. Stop, 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 stop. And he really steps in with that jab as well, doesn't he? Gets all the power in that left hand. He's working all his power into that shot. He's head moving there 
from John Wright, just making miss by an inch. Ryder still trying to set up that right hook. It's a catch for Gia coming in. No surprise. No surprise. His activity is always go, the John, big difference maker. How John Ryder found a way to either match it or compensate for it is still the open question. I think uh, Mugia respects uh, the size and strength of John Ryder. You can see that he's a muscular guy. And you can see when they clinch, he actually maneuvers. Oh, big right hand. Ryder just leaning back on those ropes. Nice counter left there by John Ryder. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, Mugia landed a good uh, left hand to the body. I don't know if it, it, it caught the attention of Ryder. Nice jab from Ryder. Because Ryder will always fire back, when Mugia has an attack down the ropes, you just got to take a little angle, just a little quarter turn, and then fire it again. A little momentum shift here. So he didn't have the power to just absorb the shot there, but a knockdown's a knockdown. There's a big deficit here for Ryder to come back from. Absolutely. Up in the second and in the fourth. And Mugia full of confidence and vigor. We're going there, we're going there. Let him go, John. Especially because it's a soft one, an orthodox fighter. The guy coming forward is going to have the advantage to get that foot, slide that foot on the outside, and have more angles of attack. So for Ryder, he's got to try and sub out, just get take that send in, just try and push Mungia back a little bit more if he can. Right hand lands for Mungia. There's a right from landing from Ryder, and there's a left from Ryder, but he took one as well. Now Ryder's getting the worst of it in the inside. Yes, he's exchanging bravely, but Mungia's catching cleanly. He's rolling the dice, Barry, because he has to, doesn't he? Yeah, but that right hand really dipped the legs there to John Ryder. He had to ask a lot of questions of himself. No, he's rolling the dice, and he's, yeah, he, he, he's definitely throwing caution to win, but right now it's uh, favoring Mungia a little bit more. I think Mungia Mung has been the most controlled I've seen him. Rushing right, and John Ryder's got to find something quick. Just like Zuman Gear double up with that left hook, just finish off with the head after he lands that body shot. Patient. 
Good right hand to the body there from Mungia. Ryder said, I, I have to use my ring generalship. That's how I win this fight. Have you seen any of that, Barry? Well, he's trying, to, he's trying to draw him up by sitting on the back foot, but the length of the gear, the way he punches long, I just think it's Ryder's struggle with that. He's still been on the land with his with his counter shots. He's having to take the print of that right hand way too often. I, I've seen some ring generalship. I like the way Ryder's staying off the ropes and always going back to the middle of the ring. Half minute to go here in round five. Ryder took it well for what that's worth. Ryder's been taking these punches, but he needs to come back with something. Anytime we get that from hands, go, you gotta come back just like that. Super lightweight challenger Jose Zapata. That's live on the zone Saturday, March 23rd. There's a nice jab, but beautiful left hand timed by Ryder. Mugia is looking for that right big right hand coming around the guard now. Right hook lands. John Ryder's right hook misses. Really good round by Munguia, but I love the patience. Barry, you touched on it. This, this is the patient side of Hyman Munguia. Yeah, it's, it's the most thoughtful thought I've seen there. He's, he's not just swinging those shots, thinking I'm just I'm powerful, I'm going to walk for your punches. He's trying to make Ryder fit. Most, most importantly, he's punching long. That's what's causing Ryder all the trouble. I agree. I mean, this is the most composed I've seen Hyman Munguia, especially since he's already been successful with two knockdowns. Round six, scheduled for 12. Most importantly, he's punching long. That's what's causing Ryder all the trouble. I agree. I mean, this is the most composed I've seen Hyman Mungia, especially since he's already been successful with two knockdowns. Round six, scheduled for 12. Another right uppercut from the Mexican. If you look at their feet, there's a fight, there's another, there's another fight going on below the waist here. They're all trying to get that foot on the outside, tangling up on them. I say that all the time, Barry, these guys never see it, but I'm glad you picked that, pointed that out. Good right hook stepping in there for Ryder as he sit to Chris Mannix in Jaime Munguia's corner. Freddie, how do you feel the first half of the fight went? Uh, pretty well. We went into the shot, kind of got down a couple of times. But he hasn't come out of here yet, but he did need to turn up a little bit, I think. What do you want to what do you want to see him do to turn it up? He used more jabs and more right hands to the body. He's, he's being he's like he's kind of letting the guy tie him up a little bit too much. Nice ready. What a shot, Freddie wants more offense, Sergio. He could know, but it was a smart offense, more jabs. And I agree. You know, Munguia needs to set up that power with more jabs. He could try to bring it for counters. And Ryder right started off good in this round. Yeah, good job there and again there from Ryder. Yeah, sweat flying off the head of Mungia. But we know how tough his chin is. Good work there from Ryder. Stuck in the corner there. Got him to vote there. Yeah, don't expect to, to hurt Mungia, but you can't you can hit him. He is able to concentrate on points. A good little spell here, isn't he? John yep. Ryder. Yes, he is. Got him again, halfway through round six. Yeah, that straight right hand is deadly. There it is to the body. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. And even if you can take those right hands, they just drain your tank. Yeah, they tie you up really quickly. Well, against Canelo, Ryder closed the strong. He absorbed all the punishment and had a good little spell at the end of the fight. Let's see if he kind of grows into this match as well. He's been a little bit too long here, Munguia, to pull the trigger. He's not right, he's got some good work at the play. But would you like to see Ryder coming forward, being more aggressive, controlling the ring now as 
you're starting to do that, it seems. Yeah, yeah I, I think, I think you know, if, you're, if you've got a centre, then you've got a, a lot more space to work. You can slide your foot in, on the outside, you've got a chance to get that, that left hand in the play. I think he's doing it in his style. I think Rod is having a good round. Yes, that's a good right hand right there, but he's been pushing the gear back. Oh, like that. A good stiff right jab from Ryder. This is his best round. Yes, it is, and he's growing confident. Lovely right the choke there from Ryder. A fantastic little round here. John Ryder, you know, coming in with the jab. This is the best round so far for him. Nice one-two from that left-handed stance. Very calm and cool. Beautiful shot right there. See that? Under the arm. Under that's, the a arm. that's a southpaw advantage, and that's the fact that a compact, shorter fighter took advantage of going under the arm of the jab of a lazy uh, jab of a and, and you see that shot because he bent low, he bent his knees low. And you got a, when you look up, you get a better angle of the of the of the, of the, of the, of the opponent, of the target, and, and then you can slip that shot through the middle. Success in the last round. No he more gives, holding, okay? He's gonna give some more. If he loses this round, he's gonna give him give some momentum back. It's, it's, it's a really hard task for him. Quick little short right on the inside for Ryder. He tries to tie him up. There it is again. Nice right hook. Three right hooks. Landed by Ryder. There's four. You find a hole for the right hook. I think he continue landing on Mungia. Mungia keeps his head in the same place. He doesn't really move it that much. I don't know why he's getting so close here, Mungia. You've got to put behind the punches. Punch long and then step in behind them. Oh, that's a good one for John Ryder. He seems to be getting his timing down, Sergio. Yes, and you saw that too. That was a well-timed shot. He waited for Mungia to throw that double jab in with that right hand. With a, with a left hook. That was all timing on Ryder's part. See, when Mungia's not punching, you know, that's when you should be attacking if you're John Ryder. Just like right there, look, he's not punching, that's when you attack. Mungia's either all offensive or he's not doing anything. Right here is exactly when John Ryder should be taking advantage of the offense. And even if you're not throwing, just steal the space with that foot foot. There, sees like that. Just keep pushing him back. There's another good round by John Ryder. He's at his moment. Yeah, maybe right, uh, when he's just trying to maybe take the round off, take half the round off, recharge the batteries a little bit. Maybe, maybe he's taking a round off, yeah. Because he's had so much success in the first half of the fight. Well, this should be two rounds in a row, then. No, the sixth round, John Ryder earned it. But again, because the output's not there from him here, those single shots are one twos, Ryder can work off that. You can't, it's very hard to come to off, a, off a, a 30 or 4 or 5 hard shots. You can do it off a one or two French combination. And he's done it in this round again here, John Ryder, for me. Just like tonight, 
It promises to be a special night on Saturday, March 2nd, as Amanda Serrano makes her homecoming by headlining the bill in Puerto Rico with the problem child and promoter Jake Paul as the co-main event. Live and exclusive March 2nd on DAZN. But it looks like it landed on his shoulder. Both of them exchanging hooks. Second you see step. Ryder got a little Second angle step. on him. And that's what the softball has Second an step. advantage on. It's a good job by John Ryder. Second you see the corner of Jaime would be a pretty roach is there, but he does have a thinned out staff around it. Robin Simodio, his longtime assistant, he's working with another car tonight. And Pepe Ryder was a big part of this training camp. He actually had to go home today because he was feeling sick. So Still Freddie Roach's corner, but not the same usual team around him. <laughs> uh, uh, time a big left, left uppercut right there. Let's see if Gurgia picks up the pace after feasibly losing the last two rounds. Yeah, a bit wild there. There wasn't even gear, and it was easy for Ryder just to, to land with the shot and slip out the distance. And I like the, the punch selection that Ryder's doing. He, he's trying to time Mungia coming in with a with an uppercut. There it is again. Shots. There's a right for Mungia who's pushing the tempo. Oh, and almost a knee touching for Ryder. And that first right hand is what John Ryder's still reacting to. Oh, he clipped it big again. The referee taking a look at He's getting hit too cleanly by a big puncher, Mugil. Yeah, you can tell Ryder doesn't have his feet under him. He's shook. Big right hook by Ryder. That's the one Ryder been setting up. And now it's Mugil holding on a little bit. Ryder's the type of guy going to go down swinging, so he's always going to be dangerous. But he needed that shot there. That just stopped the work, didn't it, Mugil, automatically. Hey, he did. Mugil got rocks on that one. It's like a light switch. Turned off the offense. And now Ryder's going to be a fence on the offense. Do the line work. Then the game will tie there. Try to get the finish. Thirty seconds ago, Ryder looked like he was about to be stopped. Now he's the man pushing forward. Can't go there, Ryder. Ryder keeps throwing that left uppercut. That's a sneaky punch, and if it lands, you're gonna see damage on Mungia. Work out of there, work out, let him go, John. Ryder gonna dip his legs low and just throw, just throw that left hand over the top. Fake, fake low, punch high. I like the rough tactics by Ryder now. He's trying to push back Mungia. A little bit of wrestling. He's a naturally bigger man. He should actually start using that and imposing his size on Mugia. Just like that. See, Mugia can uh, counter on the back foot. And he, and he, 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 he's drawn Mugia into a, a distance where, he, where he's not as effective. We just saw John Ryder eat a big right hand in that last round. What do you think of the action you've seen? The action is going really good. I mean, if you look at the first early round, I was thought Mongoya Mango was going to get the knockout early. I thought he was going to get the stoppage. But then you see Ryder got that second win. I think he just got better and better and he got stronger as the round went on. And with that big shot he, he caught Mongoya with in the last round, I mean, look, it's a 50-50 fight. On points, yeah, you got Mongoya. Up. But at the moment, I think with Ryder coming strong, could still take it. I mean, look, he's got the punch power, and um, it, is a, it is a tough fight. What does he need to do to close the gap? I think he needs to start putting shot. more pressure, landing them big heavy shots, and sitting down on them big shots as well, and getting that range and that space. Thanks, Amir. Great to see Amir Khan here in Phoenix, Arizona. 
Round nine, scheduled for 12. John Ryder's been down twice, but he's had some success here in the past few rounds. Shots. Beautiful shots. 